as you guys can see, we have our co-star, our co-guest, whatever you want to call it. Oh, right, right. Co-star. Oh. He is the main event. Oh, my gosh. So that's why he has a big head. He's a good boy. Anyway, guys, for today's vlog, I will not be appearing in it. Why? Because I, I'm at the third trimester. I am not looking so hot. I mean, beautiful. I feel like I look like Miss Piggy right now at this point. She's like, beautiful. I look like a, an orangutan. I'm huge. I'm bloated. I'm disgusting. So you guys get my sausage fingers. Yeah, they're a little swollen too. Look at that. They look chunky. She is still beautiful as ever. Chunky. So guys, today since I'm going to be the one talking to you mainly because, you know, everybody loves me and I'm right. I like how he's there actually trying to help. Like, I got this. He's a good boy. Today, guys, we're going to be showing you how I install the baby carrier into our nice car. So, as you guys can tell, we already have a couple things packed in here. We have the baby bag there in the back. We have the boppy pillow for nursing, a couple extra things for the baby, and our hospital bag. If you guys did not watch our vlog on the hospital bag, please check the link in the description above right here, though, you know, the little tag. And it's going to take you guys to that vlog where we show both my part and Janice's and we even have a vlog for the baby bag. So what I have here, this is the top portion of the baby carrier. Obviously said baby goes said baby here. Okay. So it has this cute little winter cover, even though we will not need to use that right now. In our garage right now, it's probably like 98 degrees. It is damn hot in the here. The Florida love, the Florida sun-kissed love. For those of you who do not have children, have never had children, this is what you need to take your child home with you. If you don't have one of these, I'm pretty sure the hospital doesn't let you leave without one. But that makes no sense. That never made sense. Like, how do they verify? That I don't know. Exactly. Like, how? Uh, like, I feel like they should check it, like, make sure it's secured properly, but they don't even do any so of that, so. Some people have told us that the hospital checks for you. Obviously, I've seen comments below, and this is true, fire departments. You can actually go to your local fire department and ask them, hey, I just installed a child, a child seat or a baby carrier like this in the car, can you please check it to make sure that it's installed properly and safely, and the fire department goes to your car and they make sure everything is A-OK, -okay. and if you don't know, they can install it for you, teach you how to do it as well. It is a great local resource that you can have at your disposal. You also have YouTube, which is what I do. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, Paul, I feel like you have too much of an ego to go to the fire station, and plus YouTube has trained you well. <laughs> it's not that I have an ego, it's just, there's other tools. If I genuinely have been sitting here for 20 minutes with YouTube videos and I have no idea how to do it, I'm like, cool, let's go down to the fire department. Yeah, that's but true. It, it's not that hard at all. In most cars, I'm gonna show you exactly why it's not hard at all. Okay, good, because I, I, I still, I haven't even looked up one YouTube video <laughs> so this is the carrier so this is what you take in and out and then this piece clicks into the stroller and again we also have an unboxing of the whole entire stroller and baby baby carrier here this is the base so this is what's gonna go and stay in the car and then this clicks into the car and this is how the baby is secured to the vehicle this configuration is always going to be rear facing because as newborns this is the safest position for them this is one where you can take out. You can actually get a big car seat that you'll have to actually remove the baby and put into a stroller. Oh yeah. This is just so much more convenient because if the baby's sleeping, you can just lift them and keep them nice and quiet and put them somewhere or drop them. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter what side it goes on, right or left. Typically for me, I would rather put it on the right side so that if I'm ever driving or Janice is ever driving by yourself, you can look back and see, baby. Most new cars have this right here. Most new cars have these, they're little anchor points and you can see it's for a baby seat. So you just push that back and boom, you have a little piece of metal there to anchor child carriers and car seats as well. Most new cars have it. If your car does not have it, you can use the regular seat belt, but this is the more preferred method and I'll show you why. Ryan's being a bestest boy. He's trying to help with all he can. All right, off. Oh. I want to make sure because it's on the floor. So nothing's going to scratch the leather or anything like that. So then we are going to put this in here. This carrier has these two buckles looking things, right? And these are actually going to slide into the little metal socket and you'll hear it click just like that. Oh, wow. Same on the other side. You'll hear it click. There you go. You're going to take this little tab and pull and pull and pull. Now, before doing that, you want to make sure that this is level. I did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> we make mistakes as long as we catch them. That's all that matters. So this is ensuring that the carrier base is at the proper angle. 
obviously every seat, every car is different, so always want to make sure the bubble is in as dead center as possible. So from there, you're going to want to start pulling, pulling, and you want to press down and pull some more. And then you're going to really press down and pull some more. Okay, this is one more tap. Oh my god, <laughs> you're, you're securing that, Woo! aren't you? So this is actually pretty good. If your car does not have these buckles, what you do is you feed this through the bottom, through here, and into the seat belt here, like so. So that will secure it, but these buckles on the side is two points of security. It's a little bit better. That's pretty much it. So let me scoot this chair a little bit forward so you can see how the baby's carrier sits in the vehicle. You have your little sushi. Come in here. Fail. <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it clicked perfectly wow. in. We need a bigger SUV. <laughs> Take two. Come here. There you go. Hey. So, that. so this car this carrier, you know, they're pretty standard size. It's pretty big, and uh, yeah, this seat has to be pretty damn far forward. <laughs> oh my gosh! Maybe we need a bigger car. That's where this is going to stay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and then you do this, and then yeah. Now we also have a cool little thing that we got on our Amazon gift registry. And uh, guys, if you have not done so, you can check the description below and you will find the link to our Amazon baby registry. Greatly appreciate anything and everything and all the love and support because uh, Sushi's gonna be a handful. She has a big head like me. So this is something that we got from our Amazon baby registry. It is a camera system, a little screen. Whoop. Pops right up, and the camera is in there. And what it is is the camera is going to go right up against here, looking at the baby. You run the wires, and then this is going to go on the front dash. So while we are driving, obviously the baby's facing that way. We can't see her. That's why you have the camera looking at her, and you can see her perfectly fine. And it also has night vision, so you can see her perfectly at night as well. So a cool little fun little thing somebody got for us. We greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, all these gifts that we got, we are putting them to use. So guys, our car is officially packed. Time is ticking. Sushi can literally come at any moment. We have absolutely no idea, obviously. And uh, we like to plan, we like to be prepared, so that's why we're getting everything in the car well ahead of time, because I don't want to have to do this at four o'clock in the morning while I'm half asleep, taking care of Janice. Janice is in pain, but hey, we gotta go! I just wanna make sure that we have everything taken care of ahead of schedule, and this is just going to be, you know, a big relief off of both of us that this is all in the car already. Yeah, and everything will go a lot smoother. Exactly. One less stressor. So guys, that was pretty much it. We are very excited that we have everything put together. Our house for a while was a little cluttered. Now it's, you know, going back to how it usually looks. Isn't that right, Orion? My Orion? Right? Oh, so guys, we are very prepared people. We mm. like to have everything built, everything organized. I mean, we've had our nursery, we've had all these like swings, toys, changing stations, everything built weeks upon weeks ago. Yes. Honestly, Janice had a very good reason and she's like, do it now because you don't want to be rushing the last two, three weeks or if the baby comes early, then you're going to have to be doing all of that with the child. Exactly. And that's going to make it 50 times harder. So I was like, yep. You're right, let's do it like this, and we've done everything that way, and it is genuinely a load of stress off because I don't have to worry about building anything right now. When the baby comes, it's just concentrating on the baby and Janice, and that's it. Yay! Preparation makes the world of a difference. We're very happy, we are very excited, and, you know, we're just counting the minutes at this point. Guys, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate it. All the love and support that we get from you guys. We want to spread as much awareness as possible. Do not forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get all of our notifications of every single time we go live, as well as when we post new videos. In the description below, you will find links to both Orion's Instagram, as well as his Patreon, or our Patreon. Instagram, so you can see his service dog journey from when he was a wee little pup and he was the bestest boy. He's still the bestest boy. Look at him. He loves his, he loves his, love his friend. Mm. Oh, spoiled dog. 
as well as Patreon. Patreon is an exclusive platform that we give behind the scenes content and we even offer one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions with us. For the time being, we are not doing any one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions because baby, obviously. But in a couple months, once we have enough time to get acclimated and recover and do everything, then we'll start them back up. And if that's something you guys are interested in, check the links in the description below. Alrighty, guys. So just picture me right here. Paul, kiss the kiss the air. Like I'm right here. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for the love. <laughs> so guys, this is where we end it. We can't wait to keep you guys updated and enjoying this journey with us. This is new. Why not share it with you guys? So guys, for now, adieu and goodbyes.